Hi, Stefan from CR Kennedy here. In this clip, we're going to look at selecting surfaces. So, on the panel here, we're already in the settings screen, and you can see that we have a project selected, uh, we have the machine, we have the sensor selected, but we don't have a reference surface. So, in this screen here, we will select where we get our surface from. So, in the surfaces, the top of the box there, you have terrain model. You can select what type of surface you want from that drop down menu. We'll stick with the, the terrain model. And then, if you drop down into the lower box, you'll see the available terrain models that are there. For this particular example, we only have the one, so that one gets selected. Then we must activate it, and to do that, we must add it. You can see down here, it's now selected it. And if I want to, I can preview and have a look at that model and make sure that I'm happy with it in the preview screen. In the preview screen, you get more options of movement to check for various things. So we can roll, so we've got 3D, and we can zoom in and roll. So pretty straightforward. You're gonna know whether or not that's the surface you're looking for. Once you're happy with the preview, exit your screen. Now you can select other options as well. So that is the reference model that I selected, that terrain model. Now I would like to see some line work. So I will change that to a string line model. And the same deal here. If I hit that drop down there, it will show all the available string line models in the project. There is only one in this particular example. So again, I will select that and I will add it. Same options again. I can preview and have a look at what the model is. I still have 3D and I can zoom right in. Once you're happy, exit that. The preview is an option. You do not have to uh, check it. But that's it. We've got our, our surfaces selected. So now you can see down here the reference surface is the string line model. We come back out. We go into the dig screen and immediately we have the model available. This particular example, we are in simulator. That's why there was a little bit of a lag there. But the, the uh, system is now live. In the screen here, we are in a 2D view. If we go to the 3D view, we can have a look exactly what's going on. Orientate the machine to the design. And uh, you have more options to do with your surfaces as well by going to the Tools menu, Configure Model, and there again, those are the two surfaces that we have selected, you can now switch them on or off. So if I go to the tin, you can see we've changed already. We've gone to a, a surface now that's filled in. If I turn that off and just stick with the original uh, string line model, I close that and there again is our surface. And that's how we select surfaces in Icon 3D software.